Welcome back to part two of the uh, Buchla 222E patch explained. At the end of part one, we had mapped attack to this pad, so basically you have a sharp attack and a sharp, uh, fast attack, fast decay going on here, but by mapping to here, we can change the attack envelope portion. <laughs> and control that, of course. And then we mapped uh, the modulation index uh, to Q, so... And the only thing I've done is map N to uh, the frequency shifter uh, frequency range, so that changes things a bit. Okay, that's just a quick review and the one change. Uh, get this camera off here, go to handheld. So here was the additional thing from uh, is taking control voltage out and going to frequency control voltage in on the frequency shifter. Uh, that just gives you some more parameters to play with on triggering random notes from pad R. Now what I want to look at is uh, adding some uh, arpeggiation, uh, some pulsing, and so we're going to be looking at the 223E. Once again, I don't know if, I hope you can see this. We'll go to arpeggio, and we want to uh, cursor over till the key is capitalized and we're going to choose L. I'm going to choose L. So we get that so it lights up. We got L here and now make sure that um, clock is internal and run is lit and L should, when I touch L, I get pulse out. So we want to take pulse out and trigger another envelope generator. This time it's going to be B section. It's bridged over. And I'm going to take uh, out from the 259E into B. And that will come out and go into the mixer. So theoretically, if I touch L, I get the pulse. And of course I can adjust the, make it anything from, and then from short to long, and here we can change. And we'll leave it in combo mode. And now, of course, to get some more randomness, one of my favorite things, we can come pulse out and go to, oops, I guess I already have a cable there. We take pulse out and go down to, uh, this case, stored random voltage, and come out of there and go over to the oscillator. So and ratchet up the volume here. Okay, that's different than... Hello? Why did that go away? Oh, hang on.
Okay. So, back to the arpeggiation. This is just cranking out everything at the same time. And as we... Um, as I develop this, one of the last things I'm going to be looking at in part either three or four is how uh, Morton Subotnik is using his uh, uh, his Buchla and Live, but one of the things he mentions about Buchla that he likes is being able to change speed on the fly to make something that is really um, slow and evolving to like, you know, triple, quadruple the speed on uh, 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 by spinning on a dime or touching a plate in this case. So one way to achieve that is to come out of um, another control voltage. In this case we're going to look at uh, control voltage, let's see, page uh, and take 13 if you can see that, and it's going to go to L. And so 13L, that's the same touch plate as we did the arpeggiation on, and if I go into control voltage in and tweak that up a little, now when we touch L it engages the arpeggiator, and as we go up on location it speeds up. Okay, and of course you can apply L to a filter, uh, L to a modulation index, and get really wacky. Okay, so I think that will be it for this part. Bye.